President Joe Biden thinks inflation is awfully funny. Even as Americans struggle under skyrocketing prices and supply chain shortages with no end in sight, Joe here was seen over the weekend laughing his head off about how Americans are having to pay more for rent and food. <laughs> because this is what happens when you make millions off of taxpayers and never have to worry about how your own garbage policies are affecting everyday people. It all becomes one giant comedy show. And the joke? Well, apparently the joke is on us. Joe Biden managed to take an already unfunny event and make it even less entertaining than usual at this year's White House Correspondents' Dinner on Saturday. Biden channeled his inner stand-up comedian with a bunch of jokes that, you know, well, pretty much went over like lead balloons. He joked about his own approval rating, which of course is in the toilet. I'm really excited to be here tonight with the only group of Americans with a lower approval rating than I have. He joked about COVID. Tonight, we come here to answer a very important question in everybody's mind. Why in the hell are we still doing this? <laughs> I know there are I know there are questions about whether we should gather here tonight because of COVID. He joked about Disney wanting to indoctrinate America's kids. Ronald Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear this wall down. Today's Republicans say, tear down Mickey Mouse's house. And pretty soon they'll be storming Cinderella's castle, you can be sure of it. And most notably, he laughed about Americans having to pay more for everything from housing to gas to food. Because apparently historic inflation and the suffering of millions of people is laughs aplenty to a guy who has spent his whole life making millions off taxpayers and probably can't remember the last time he bought something that wasn't for a photo op. Here's Biden laughing hysterically after Trevor Noah cracked a joke about how everything costs more ever since Biden took office. You know, I think ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up, <laughs> everything. No, it really has been a tough first year for you, Mr. President. So Americans struggling to pay for food and gas is hilarious. Of course, that's easy to say when you're a career politician worth millions. Did you know that Biden and his wife, Jill, raked in more than 17 million in the four years Trump was in office? Four years between being vice president and president, and Biden made $17 million. And that was before he got a job as the most powerful man in the world, making 400 k a year with nearly every expense paid. Before all that, he spent nearly four decades in the Senate mooching off taxpayers. This is a guy who has literally done nothing but rake in tax dollars. So it makes sense that the plight of the average American doesn't much concern him. Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that, though. After all, what does he care that the cost of meat is up 20% since he took office? The price of beef is up 20% from this time last year. Ground sirloin is more than $5 a pound. Why? Well, from the cost of packaging to the cost of growing feed, every part of the supply chain is more expensive. That the price of a gallon of gas has gone from about 239 to 419. The average price for a gallon of gas jumped more than 40% in the last year. That's according to AAA. Those rising fuel prices are causing a ripple effect across the U.S. economy. The expense trickles into everyday costs like shipping fees, lawn care, and of course, transportation. On average, rent has increased 20% across the board in one year. In places like Miami, it's up as much as 40%. New numbers for March show that South Florida saw the highest rent increases in the entire country in the past year, with some rents more than doubling. The Sun Sentinel reports that rent jumped 57% from March of last year to March of this year. Average monthly rents are $29.88. Rent prices in South Florida are now more expensive than in New York City. Realtor.com called Miami the least affordable place to live. If you're in the market for a vehicle, a used one will cost you about 40% more than it did a year ago, and may God be with you if you're trying to buy a home. For people looking to buy a home, according to the National Association of Realtors, the current median price of a home in the U.S. sits at $375,000 with a report out today from a major price index showing a nearly 20% increase in home prices between this February and last. And with everything from a gallon of milk to a loaf of bread going up, more and more Americans are feeling the pinch in their wallets with no end in sight. But to old Joe here, the whole thing is comical. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up, <laughs> everything. Because this is what happens 
when you spend years sucking off the government teat, raking in millions in book deals and speaking gigs from the comfort of your seaside mansion surrounded by taxpayer-funded armed security. You have no idea what it's like to live in the real world and to pay real bills, to have to put your kids into failing public indoctrination camps because you're never within sniffing distance of being able to afford private school, when you can't remember the last time you filled your own car up with gas or had to dig a pack of overpriced bacon out of the freezer aisle, or have to choose between taking your family on a vacation or replacing the carpet, when you've never clipped coupons or shopped the sales or had to juggle credit card debt. It's why Joe and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all the fat cats up there in Congress have no problem spending billions fighting global warming overseas, or why Biden sees nothing wrong with pumping billions more into the already bloated IRS, or making sure illegal aliens at the border get COVID shots before being released into the country. I have seen the federal government spend $2.1 million for sex education for Ethiopian prostitutes. <laughs> This is a Congress that just spent billions of your money on museums and art projects and studies to make sure enough black kids are studying climate change and the development of equitable growth of shellfish aquaculture in Rhode Island. All real things in the latest spending bill. Thanks, taxpayer. Because your grocery budget means jack all to these people and to this president. What it costs to keep the lights on in your home, the shoes on your kids' feet, the fact that your car is on its last leg, that new roof you should have put on last year but couldn't, and the fact that you work 40, 50, 60 hours a week, and that paycheck is stretching thinner and thinner. That is a joke to this president. He is literally on camera sitting there laughing at it, at you. This is how much he and the yahoos in those gleaming marble halls up there in Washington, D.C. care about the Americans they supposedly serve. And if there is a class war in this country between the haves and the have-nots, it's not between the CEOs and the job creators and the entrepreneurs making the big bucks. It's not about how Elon Musk spends his money. It's about how Joe Biden and this Democrat-controlled Congress is spending yours. And they think it's funny. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and Rumble pages, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.